Hi everyone, today I would like to be sharing with all of you on progressive interest and also what is the formula to calculate the progressive interest of your property. Now this is actually very relevant to those of you who are looking out for new launch project. Now when it says new launch, it means that it is going to be completed in 3-4 to four years time. And when you're doing the viewing or you approach a developer, uh, the agent or the developer staff may tell you that your money installment for that property is uh, 2005, for example, right? So now because it is, it is going to be completed in 3-4 to four years time, that money installment of 2005 kicks in uh, upon completion, which is 3-4 to four years down the road. Right, so what's going to happen in between that construction period, the three to four years? Do I have to pay anything? The answer is yes, right? Um, but you're not going to pay two thousand and five in full, but you have to put, you have to pay something called progressive interest. So what is that? Now uh, I'm going to show you here a table. Uh, not very clear, but. This is something called the schedule of payment of a project, alright? And you can actually get this schedule of payment from the agent or the developer. And this schedule actually shows you clearly the progressive of a construction of the entire project and the estimate completion, right? So with this, you can actually estimate when is the completion date of uh, the project and when you have to pay the full amount of uh, money installment which is 2005 right so um, what happened in in between here is that in the first phase um, you pay according to how much the bank dispersed to the developer and the amount of money that the bank dispersed to the developer is depending on the progressive of construction right so for example i i say that okay now that i've signed an spa sales and purchase agreement i've signed everything so when is the next thing that i need to do on how much do i have to pay the first month right so according to the schedule here the first construction period uh, construction is 10 percent, and 10 percent here means just a slight progression right so what the bank do is based on 10%, they will inverse 10% of the SPA value, the sales and purchase uh, value of the property to the developer. And you as the purchaser will have to pay the interest, the interest rate times with this value. All right. So in other words, let me just give you an example, an example and summarize it. Today, I buy a project that is worth 500,000 for example and I get my loan approved and I sign my sales and purchase agreement. So once I sign that, I would wonder when is my next uh, payment due and how much is that? Now the exact calculation to calculate that progressive interest at that point of time is following the percentage which is 10%, all right? times with the interest rate um, which is 4.5 let's say 4.5 percent and then times with my sales my value of the property SPA value 500,000 right and then times with 30 days divided by 365 so you do the math and you got you get about 190 per month so what it means is once after I sign my SBA, at this point of time, I need to pay 191, right? 191 per month. And then I will have to follow the next stage. Say maybe end of next year, uh, another 10% of the building completed. So I will have to pay 20% instead of 10%. And then at that point of time, I will use 20% times with 4.5% interest rate times with my SPA value times with 30 days divided by 365, right? So you will notice that your money payment, your progressive interest will gradually increase up to the end of fourth year. So towards the end of the, uh, the third year, you probably will, will be um, paying something that is very close to 2005. And upon completion, you're actually paying 2005. So 
That is what it means when an agent tell you your money installment is two thousand five. That means that you have to pay two thousand five upon completion, and in between, you will have to serve for the interest. That's what we call the progressive interest. And how do you know how much you have to pay? That is、uh, based on the formula that I've just shared, right? The progressive percentage times with the interest times with SPA value times with thirty divided by three hundred sixty-five, and that is how you calculate your progressive interest. All right. So that's all for this week, and I hope that you learn something. The next time you go and look for new property, you can actually do an estimation, ask for the schedule and payment,、uh, schedule of payment, and do a calculation to、uh, arrange or do some planning, financial planning for this property. Right? Thank you very much for watching, and、um, see you again next Friday. Goodbye.